fairly straightforward run chase. Did you think you had a decent score on the board? Yeah, I think you know at first uh, what I thought we were about 20, 30 down shot, but you know 2 30 nine was still challenging on that figure because the wicket only got worse, and it's just that we didn't bowl well. The spinners were disappointed with the spinners. Uh, you know, we started bowling well after the 40th though, and it was too late for us. So, so all in all, it was a uh, you know it was a bad performance. Considering the wickets, like you explained, I mean, how you got great goals. Yeah, first year I mean, it was a straight wicket, it was a sterling square. And you know, nothing can be taken away from Joel the way he battled he was with it. And I thought uh, you know, James Dale also battled with it. You know, they, they got the, the English team going and you know, we couldn't stop. And we could we had to take wickets and, and no one really bowled well apart from Sachit for Sachit was brilliant. You know, on his comeback he was you know, absolute brilliant spot on. And you know it's very to good him. Um, but I think the you know the other spinners didn't uh, do much on this figure. Yeah. Uh, just on uh, Sachin's comeback, obviously a lot on him making his first game back. Uh, generally, how, how do you think he did? How pleased were you with him? Uh, it was brilliant. I thought um, you know as usual, he was you know we banked on him and, and he delivered once again. And you know he was playing a bit of you know domestic cricket uh, you know before his comeback. But but I thought uh, you know under pressure. Playing against a strong team, a strong batting lineup, you know, it was the man for us today, and, and I hope that you know he'll continue to do the same thing um, in the future as well. What, what, what do you think of this England side? I mean, obviously, you know, you're sort of in the box seat, you still are, but they've come back and showed a bit of resilience now. Yeah, um, of course. I mean, they bowled well. You know, when we were batting, we were struggling to score off the, the slower bowlers and the faster bowlers. You know, the faster bowlers also bowled pretty well. Uh, uh, but I thought, um, you know, overall it was a it was a pretty um, you know, decent performance by the England team. Uh, you know, they put us under a lot of pressure, and um, uh, we actually thought that you know two two forty will be enough on this because we're starting square, and we had the ball as we had we had about four spinners, but unfortunately for us they didn't you know uh, do well on this track. But you know, lesson to learn, and we can come back hard in the next game. And can I just ask? I mean, you, you know each other so well, obviously, from the games you played over the last few months, but. As the World Cup approaches, you're in the same group. Do you find you're learning more about this England team, or do you, or is it you, you've got everything you need to know about them, really? No, I mean we still can learn a lot about them. I think um, the way they played, we, we played them, um, you know, quite a bit uh, in the recent past, and then, and they are a very strong team, and, and you can't be complacent, as I always say. They come back. I mean, no matter what the situations, what the conditions are, wherever you play, they are a strong team to beat, and we can't, you know, take us foot off the gas. Andrew, uh, you miss uh, Ranga Nehera quite quite a bit. You know, maybe someone would have given you a little bit of control in that middle period. Yeah, of course. I mean, he's vastly experienced, and and on this track it would have been very dangerous. Uh, but but unfortunately, um, he got injured the day before, and and that's the way it is. I mean, we, you know, it is. Uh, we had the opportunity of you know looking at a few you know, spinners as well. We've got a couple of spinners um, yet to play again. But I think uh, we still had the the power to, to defend that score. But uh, you know, as I keep saying, that the spinners didn't bowl well. You know, from and uh, you probably played Satitra in the nets, and uh, you probably his captain now again. What what are the differences you see? Is there any difference from the way he used to bowl uh, with the new action? Yeah, I think he, he gets more turn, I guess. You know, um, after the remedial work, uh, he gets a lot more bounce than usual, and 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 he's accurate as well. You know, as usual, his, you know, his accuracy is the key for him, and and, and you know he has you know, done well in the in this game, and he's he, he pretty happy. Mitra, again, Tawatina. Tell me this: uh, uh, Andai, you know, for the match, the Pandyan was saying, "Thomas Karakkar was there." Who can Balabur to carry? Why are you not there? Idhu, Tarang Gulta to Savai Karakkar no. So, oh, happy. Uh, I don't mean this. The other thing, especially me, we got to get my name. We got Danga Pandi. I want to do it. It's not easy. Lucky, but even Rangana Hera, I think, uh, 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 Piyar Tarang, 
ඉතින් අපි අපේ වර්ල්ඩ් කප් ප්ලෑන්ස් වල ඔව් ඉන්නවා ඉතින් ඒ කියන්නේ අපි ඔය එක්ක මැදන්නේ දැන් බඩු දාගෙන කිට් වෙන්න ලබාගෙන තියෙනවා මේ මේ තරගාවේදී ඉතින් මම හරි මුෂෝ නෑ නම අපි ඔය යොදාගත්තේ මේ මේ තනතිල්ල විශේෂයෙන් ගැන තනතිල්ල ගැන හිතලා මැදන් ස්පිනර්ස් අද යෝග්‍ය හින්ද තමයි ඔය යොදාගත්තේ अनिदांगपांडियावर्णनोंदर बलपुर जीवी <laughs> Um, given the way he's played in the last two games, are you surprised he's taken taking this long to pick James Taylor? Oh, he, he looks a very good player. Um, I mean, in these conditions, it is going to be a challenge for the English players. I mean, it's turning, it's slow, but he seems to be, you know, batting on a different pitch for the past, you know, past two games. And I think he is a very good player. And uh, yes, I, well, I've not seen him, uh, you know, that much, but he looks a really good player. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, much a relief for uh, us that that win uh, come to you today. Uh, not so much a relief. Uh, I thought, well, the way we played over two days, we probably deserved to win. Uh, you know, it was obviously a brave toss yesterday to to bowl first, uh, but I think it was the right decision. If we'd have batted under lights, it didn't quite happen. Uh, but you know, the way it seems a long time ago, the way obviously we bowled first it was was fantastic. And uh, Chris Wokes, I think he's got two of the best three figures. That's great credit to him. And then. The way James Taylor, I'm seeing particularly Rooty play, was was just phenomenal. Passing to him. Yeah, just I mean, Joe Root's um, obviously uh, passing well today. Uh, how do you pay tribute to uh, his hundred? Um, well, I thought the way Sanger played yesterday um, was just a masterclass in batting, and I thought Rooty at the same level as that. So that's pretty, I think, fair, fairly good compliment. That's high praise. No, it was. I mean, I thought Sanger played obviously a brilliant, not for class season, and I thought the way those two guys, obviously Rooty, went on and was there at the end. Um, Was in the same way. Uh, belief was a word that was used after you win in Hamban Tota. Now you've sort of come back and won this game, and to try and win the series, when you're still in there fighting, what's the belief like that you can actually do that? Yeah, I think uh, I think it's really a really important win today. Uh, now, obviously, Colombo hasn't been that kind to us, but we've won away from, away from that. So uh, it'd be great to get to Colombo three or have a have a, ser- a series final. Um, if we play anything like that, we, we can put pressure on Schlank. But you know, as we know, the challenge of it is coming back up. उसके a little bit tight towards the end but fairly comfortable there is a credit to the lads the way we trained and and prepared to to um push ourselves in training for our skills to to go through the roof and I think that you said the word about saying I'm seeing your finger of all you know even last couple of games but you know it's really quick and speed and so but it seems to have a, a decent head on as well yeah a really good head on uh you know you played a handful of I think played two games in the end uh one day games and then he's gone away you know the change in he's obviously worked incredibly hard on his game uh, he's come back and yeah you know, the last couple of years his domestic records right up there uh, so he's, he's come in 
when we left him out on bits, it was always about him when he got his chance. And he's got his chance here and he's taken a good play. Yeah, some people might say, I suppose, that, you know, based on what we've seen, he could have been playing a little before. Well, uh, yeah, you, you could have been, uh, but or you could have said that he's he's forced his way in with weight of runs, and when he's when he's coming, he's ready to play. So whichever way you look. It's been a revelation, obviously, you've been with him a little bit today. Is he been present at the other end? He's possible, isn't he? Yeah, he, you know, obviously, um, slightly shorter in stature, scampers through, scampers through runs, and got the way him and Ruti like almost, you know, when they needed to take the pressure on themselves, obviously, could find a boundary, but. Is all right, hitting the ball in mid on and going straight away. Um, it's a hallmark of, of good one day, one day batting. Was he very decisive as well when he told you not to review that LBW? Uh, yes, he told me he thought it was out, and when I'm telling him it was just clipping, he, he, uh, <laughs> he might have different point of view. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I think Titch is always, uh, yeah, he's always from from the reports we've had from Lions, we could, um, it's been the standout in terms of his mental approach to the game and his mental strength and I think his record in both first class and domestic cricket um, suggests that he obviously knows his game and he knows himself which I think is why he's doing so well. Do you feel like you're starting to see some of the benefits of this series in terms of players getting better over time? Obviously Joe with his 100 and Chris with his 6 but do you feel that the players are improving as well? I, I do, I honestly do think that. Um, there's a real excitement amongst the group over what's going to happen over the next three months um, and I can't you know I know we've, we've lost three games um, and we can't, we can't hide behind the fact that we're still down the series but you know, we, I think we've made some really good strides in these conditions and then it's you know it's, for us it's constantly keep working here and then when we get to the tri series adjust to those conditions and keep working there you know, we have another month before that World Cup so but I'm really happy the way it's going Obviously, it'd be great if we're sitting here five days' time with two, two more. How do you feel on your own? Again, obviously, it's a, a recurring thing. Some days you look like you're backing a little bit better. Um, obviously, disappointed today. How do you, how do you assess your, your own form at the moment? Well, it's the same. It's keep getting 20s and 30s. And as I said, it's, it's more frustrating than me than anyone else. Do you think the amount of dot balls is putting pressure on you to get? Play release shots and getting out or you see that? I don't think so, no. Uh, obviously today was we knew if we batted fifty overs, um, with the majority of that the batters batting, we'd win that game for and I set my sword out to try and do it. Last couple. Uh, also, the last time I saw we had some sad news about Craig Keyswet. So obviously, he looks like he's going to miss 2015 as he tries to get his 100 percent vision back. I guess a lot of the thoughts of the players are with him at the moment. Yeah, I mean that was obviously breaking news this morning wasn't it, it was a, a real shock to us and um, you know, obviously Keith's been around this squad a fair bit over the last few years so uh, yeah we just wish him well um, he's a fantastic player uh, and we, we, we want to see him back playing because obviously it's a really nice injury hopefully he can get the right medical care and you know I, I don't know um, exactly what his plans are but we just wish him all uh, from this England team all the very best. Okay thank you very much.